Jason, I want your take on May, but I want to say this. Folks, if you want to uh, see some unvarnished and unbiased opinions, go over to the Alabama 24-7 board. There are three separate Drake May threads that they're talking about how good that kid is. Now, it worked out for them because they got pretty Probably good quarterback. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, they they all right. all, but they all uh, – and that's, you know, wealth of riches. But they all say – um, how good may looked and how good a player he is. And a lot of them say, you know, wish they still had him, of course. Yeah. But anyway, Jason, your take on what you saw, I thought he looked poised. I thought he looked um, somewhat fearless, um, you know, probably caused some hearts to jump when he tried to hurdle three or four guys. Uh, but, you know, it's game one. But it was a good game one for Drake May. Yeah, you'll you'll take what you what you saw there uh, every time, and you know, I, I I tried very hard this off season not to not to get into hyperbole because when I was doing my evaluations, you know, it's one of those like, man, this guy, like I don't want I like I don't want to oversell what I'm seeing, but my goodness, this guy's going to be really really good, and you know, I I I tried to basically say. Long term, and I said this long term, I think he's he's a better prospect than Sam was. And, you know, the only question for me was how quickly is he going to be playing at a higher level than than Howell? And I felt like there was a good chance that we'd see him playing at a higher level than Howell this year. And I still think that 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 now there's going to be growing pains because of the lack of experience on certain things. And, you know, the receiver position still needs, you know, some consistency, but you know, the guy, the guy is what he is. I mean, he's, he's a really, really special player. Uh, and the, I think one of the things that, that Buck said is really critical here. And that is how quickly he gets rid of the football. He diagnoses things really quickly and gets it out. And, you know, you can see him, it, 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 he, he doesn't look hurried. And, and one of the thing one of the marks of, you know, really the elite, elite quarterbacks, you know, like the truly elite guys that I look for is, does this guy make playing the position look easy? It might be the hardest position in team sports. I think it is. And you get a guy that makes that position look easy. And I don't care if it's against fam. You, I don't care. You know, does this guy make playing the position look easy does it look like he's going back there and going okay that guy's going to be open and bam get it out and just never get get hurried or whatever when you see pressure does he just naturally respond and step up and get the ball out of his hands or or you know step into into a void and and take the take the yardage the defense has given him quarterbacks who make the game look easy are special and and this is something that i i, I tried to emphasize a few years ago i mean i i got some criticism. I've gotten criticism over the years at different points for being critical of really good quarterbacks that Carolina's had. I mean, you go all the way back to Marquise Williams. You know, I had at different points some critical evaluations of certain things. The guy was a good player. I always said that. But there were certain things where he made the game harder than it had to be on himself. It's like, dude, get rid of the football going over here, and you never have to deal with that pressure that all of a sudden – you got, and then you broke this tackle, spun out, you know, ran around for a little bit and then made this amazing play. You could have done that right there. And it's a 20 yard throw. And then, you know, you never have to do any of those things. And that was true with Howell at times mm -hmm. where you would see Sam just lock onto one guy, hold onto the football. And I'm sitting here going, come on, dude, get rid of the ball. <laughs> like, it, it, that was your read. You get rid of it there and you don't have to worry about it. And then Sam would go and do something amazing, you know, half the time. But it's that phenomenon where the guy that just makes it look easy, coaches love that guy. And, you know, Trubisky was that way to some extent. Not, I don't think to the extent that, that, that may, that may will, I think may is a better prospect than Trubisky was. Uh, so you look at that and how many sacks, how many sacks were, were there on, on Howell last night? Well, May, you or mean May? Or zero, May. yeah, zero. On, there were zero sacks. And how many yeah. times did he actually was he in danger of being sacked? Not many. 